Hi and welcome. I wanted to get this channel back to where I wanted it to be when I originally started it. I spent a bit of time messing around, trying to figure out how to edit, trying to figure out how to record and all those things. I still haven't figured it out. Bear with me. But I wanted it to be more of a, like, should you buy this game channel as opposed to a let's play channel. So I could offer you a bit of insight into the games, show you a bit of gameplay, and show you kind of what to expect. So this is Two Point Hospital. I feel pretty strongly about this personally, as Theme Hospital was one of my favourite games when I was much younger. I don't know if you ever played it, it was brought out by Bullfrog Studios, they made Theme Park, they made Populous, they made Dungeon Keeper, and I think Theme Hospital is probably one of their lesser known titles. It came out in 97, most people I talked to about it haven't played it, haven't heard of it, and then eventually Bullfrog was bought out by EA. So, there was no Theme Hospital 2. I've been waiting for years, I've always wanted a Theme Hospital 2, it hasn't happened, and then this company got together in the UK. This is Two Point Productions. They got together and decided they wanted to make the spiritual successor to Theme Hospital, and they succeeded beautifully. This is what it is. So if you played Theme Hospital, very similar. GP's office, wards, pharmacies, general diagnosis, cardio, all that kind of stuff but so much more. Uh, it's got the same fun, quirky illnesses. I've got people with mime problems. Uh, you've got people that have lost all the colour. You've got people with night fever. You've got this right here, lightheadedness. You've got special clinics to get rid of that. You've got pandemic, which is these people with pots and pans stuck on their heads. It is a fun, quirky little game. It goes pretty in-depth with all of your character information. So he's an entertainer, he loves to dance for people, he's also my doctor, so I guess he's making my patients happier. You've got your research facilities. You have so many different things to look at and manage. I'm just giving you a quick overview of some of the buildings at the moment. Now if you ever played Thing Hospital, you'll remember things like Bloaty Head, and you had the inflator room and all those things. It is a very similar sense of humor. You've got the same quirky little announcer at the reception desk that says all the same kind of vaguely horrifying things. You still have to keep your hospital pretty, you've got to keep it clean. I don't remember if ghosts were a thing in Theme Hospital. I have bought Theme Hospital on GOG. You can still purchase it. It does work. But for me, it just wasn't long enough. There wasn't enough levels, there wasn't enough rooms, there wasn't enough diseases, there wasn't enough anything. I just wanted more. And so, 21 years later, I got it. This was released late last year, September, I believe. And it is a hospital management game. So you've got to keep your staff happy, you've got to give them pay raises. I managed to cure seven patients there, you still get the emergency things. You still get all of your stuff down here where all of your letters come in. Jasmine Odyssey didn't like my hospital. It's a shame. You discover new illnesses, they've got a new treatments. There's a lot of... I don't think there was as much training focus in Theme Hospital, but there's a lot of it here. So all of your staff can be really fine-tuned to do one specific task really well or to do a whole bunch of other tasks pretty well. So if you look at all of my staff, I've got various people in the GP's offices and they've got specialised training in general practices. And I don't let them in other rooms. That is all they're allowed to do because they're good at it and what they're less good at is curing people and I've got all these diagnostics people and they're all in the diagnostics rooms and the treatment people in the treatment rooms because it improves my success rate which improves my cash which improves everything else and so on and so forth I did purchase this through Steam it is $54.99 at the moment if you liked Theme Hospital I think it is definitely worth a look if a theme hospital wasn't really a thing, you prefer a more serious simulation game, this is not for you. This is very much a silly, fun game. 
it is serious in the sense that you actually have to cure the patients and you actually have to do the job but it is not build this room one brick at a time kind of deal it is very much a you want to build a room you come to the list of things you want to build you go, oh, I want to build this cafe done look familiar building is quite similar to how it was in theme hospital oh look at that it's a beautiful cafe and then you got to make sure that you put in adequate heating because this part of the country is very cold you got to put in plants to make it beautiful remember that they have to be watered and done Ta -da! then you've got to hire the appropriate staff to work in there I think it's assistance. I guess we'll find that in a moment. So then all my guests can go in there, oh, guests, all my patients can go in there, get some food, they give me more money. More money is good for me. When they die, sometimes they turn into ghosts and they will scare your other patients and lower their health. They'll scare your staff members. You need janitors with a special training in ghost removal to get rid of it, obviously. What else would it be? Which I do have a few of, I don't know where they are, they're just letting that ghost run rampant. <laughs> Fine. And then there's a lot more social aspects to it now as well. So this, if you have friends that play this as well, which I actually do, but only one of them plays it actively and I don't think he's quite as far as I am. You can do these group quests basically. So as you can see I've done all of these bits myself, except for shooting the mono beasts because I can't find any in my hospitals. Your hospital needs to be kind of dirty to get the mono beasts, just like Theme Hospital. We had the rats and you could shoot them. You got a little. What's it called? Little. thing on your mouse. You could target it and you could kill it. Exactly the same, except they're called mono beasts here. I just. I don't have any. So I'll have to probably filth up one of my hospitals just to be able to finish that part of the quest. You can also look at your online challenges, so you can challenge your friends that play the game. Uh, and then you're obviously just your plain objectives for this world. Well, this hospital map. So I want to make this a two-star hospital. Three is the maximum. And I need to cure 20 patients in the fracture ward to make that happen. Unfortunately, I can't just break people's bones so that I can make that happen, but they'll come in eventually. And as with most simulation games, you can speed it up, slow it down, pause it while you build things, whatever you need to do. Uh, then it's got all these fun overviews so you can see how happy everybody is. You can see how healthy everybody is, how thirsty they are. Are they cold? Are they hot? Do they need the bathroom? Do I not have enough bathrooms? All those kinds of things. So you can really manage quite a bit of the detail. So it, it isn't just a silly game in the sense that you don't need to actually do anything. You still need to be quite heavily involved in it or you will... You lose enough people, you lose money. You lose money, your hospital closes, you fail, you start again. And then there's this aspect which is also new. Award ceremony. Uh, I normally just click open all because I couldn't be bothered waiting. I've had people die this year, obviously, and I am not the most prestigious hospital. But I'm the best in all these other things. Fantastic, go me. Whether or not that helps me in any way, I don't know. Uh, you can also change your policies. So I can say, oh, I don't need to be 90% sure to send someone for treatment. We can only be. 50% sure we'll send them for treatment. It's really... There's quite a bit you can do. Uh, anyway. So yes, that's Theme Hospital. No, it's not. So anyway. That's Two Point Hospital. It is the magical, wonderful, beautiful successor to Theme Hospital. They did a fantastic job. If you like management games, if you like simulation games, you will probably like this. If you're not a huge fan of simulation games, but you like games with a bit of a quirky sense of humour, you'll probably still like this. This is fun. 
I have spent hours and hours and hours playing this game. And yeah, it's like other games. It's samey. When you get to the new hospital, you do the same thing. You build your reception area, you build your GP's offices, blah, blah, blah. I get that. But it keeps you entertained. It's got its own radio station. It's got its quirky little reception announcements. It's got so much more to it than just what are your plans? This person's got to go to the doctor. There's a lot more involvement than that. And it is well worth the money. It's got two DLCs out. They're 1350 each. They add more hospitals. They add more diseases. They add... And I think the hospitals are in different locations. So one of them's in, like... Uh, the snow. One of them's in tropical islands. And it's just... I haven't got them yet. I will. I definitely will. You can hold me to that. Because this game is fantastic. And I will spend more hours playing it. And I want to know what weird, wacky diseases they've got for the snow area. And what they've got for the sunshine area. Because everywhere has got... Different prevalent diseases, basically. So one place might have heaps of fractures. And you'll need three or four fracture wards. One place might have heaps of people with psychiatric problems. And you'll need heaps of psychiatric rooms. And it's all very much... You've got to adapt to what you need for that place. If you're getting huge queues outside places, you need more of those rooms, etc, etc. The levels increase in difficulty, at least initially, because it's training you kind of... It doesn't want to throw you in the deep end. It doesn't want to throw you into this. With this many rooms and heaps of items and things and go, okay, have fun, figure it out, because you won't. It's kind of tricky. But yes, that's Two Point Hospital. If you like Theme Hospital, definitely get this. If you like fun, quirky kind of simulation games, definitely get this. If you just want to have a bit of a laugh for an hour or so after work, I would recommend this. It is fun. It is good. You can challenge your friends to all kinds of games through Steam. You can challenge them so that you have to make more money than them, or whatever the challenge is. You've got so much you can do. Just look into it. Thanks for watching. I've been Moogle Peep. This has been Two Point Hospital. Should you buy it? <laughs>